Habari. Ekabo. <laughs> Welcome to the African Leadership Academy here in South Africa. My name is Ife Olua Adefope and I'm the chairman of the student government. My name is Hope Hajir from Kenya in Sudan and I'm the chair lady of the student government here at ALA. You've come at such an exciting time. The last few months have been amazing. We are going to be your official tour guide and take you around the campus so we can show you the activities that have been going on over the summer. So Karibu, come with us and we'll show you. We have the annual ALA All-Staff Conference taking place on campus. The annual ALA All-Staff Conference is an opportunity for all ALA staff and teachers to get together and prepare for the next year. This year, our theme is Back to School, when all our staff members will get on campus and pretend to be ALA students and experience our lives for two days. So one of the biggest things that happened over the break is that the Academy got a new Dean, Dean El Taib. Hi, my name is Hatim El Taib and I am the incoming Dean for the African Leadership Academy. I am returning to the Academy after four years away. I first joined in 2008 and spent three years here as a faculty member in the African Studies Department and I'm tremendously excited to be back in this new role as we enter an exciting new chapter in our history. I'm excited to be able to welcome the largest incoming class that we have had to date with 130 students. I'm excited to be working with new colleagues from countries like Egypt and Ethiopia from which we would had trouble recruiting in the past. And I'm excited to be working on some really big and hairy strategic problems, some questions that we need to solve as we approach the decennial, particularly as regards our academic situation. In addition to the new dean, ALA has also gotten 15 new staff members. Let's go meet them. Africa is one of the oldest intellectual traditions on the planet, but I think the mark of the 21st century has been the ideas of youth driving social change and development. I think ALA is an incubation space for ideas that are going to revolutionize the continent and potentially the planet, so I'm definitely looking forward to that. Why I'm back is because um, ALA had such a huge impact in me. It really shaped how I look at Africa and it really, you know, pushed me to think beyond government. How else can we tackle some of the issues that we have, you know, through the private sector and all that. And so for that, I would like that impact to also be accessible to as many people. So one of the other things that happened uh, during the summer was the GSP, which is the Global Scholars Program. And here with me, I have Ms. Sarah Merck, who is the Director of Global Programs at the African Leadership Academy, and she will tell us more about it. So this summer, the campus was really busy with GSP. We had four camps uh, for a total of 243 students from really all over the world. We had students from around the continent. We had. American students, European students, Asian students, and they all came together to experience uh, GSP. And one of the exciting ways that we're growing is starting to offer programs that are custom programs, programs that we tailor around GSP for particular organizations. There's also been a whole lot of construction on campus over the holiday. Let's go see what's new. This is the ALA Learning Commons. I know right now it looks like a factory, but in 12 months time, it's gonna be the hub of teaching and learning at ALA. We wanted to have spaces that cater to very different types of learning styles. Right, so collaborative space, maybe space for quiet, solitary study, um, and that's what we really hope to enable in this space. We hope you enjoyed this quick update of the African Leadership Academy. Until next time, my name is Hope from Kenya, Sudan. And my name is Ifeolo Adifope from Nigeria. Bye. Odabo.